48 in Holland and 41 in Kalamazoo. So because of our, because of our cooler temperatures, we have our first widespread frost advisory lasting until 9 a.m. on Thursday morning. So you still have time. Head on out, cover up those plants and sensitive vegetation if you're hoping that they'll last for the next couple of weeks. As for our Thursday bus stop planner, partly cloudy skies to kick off the day. A temperature of around 42 degrees by 9 a.m. and then climbing to a daytime high temperature of 61 degrees by 4 p.m. in the afternoon. Mostly sunny skies will be in store all day long. Temperatures will be in the lower 60s, so a little bit of a heat wave leading into tomorrow with our Lake Michigan forecast showing wave heights ranging between zero to about one foot. Our future track really doesn't show much. We have high pressure building in, so we're going to see mostly sunny to partly cloudy skies all day on Thursday, all day on Friday, and also leading into your Saturday. A perfect stretch of weather to get outside and enjoy the fall weather, the cooler temperatures, and some Friday night football. Ball. Our Fox 17 Blitz game of the week will be a face off between Grand Rapids, Catholic Central and South Christian. Temperatures will be comfortable mainly in the 60s with a half time around 59 degrees. The rest of our Super 7 day shows a high temperature of 70 on Saturday with mostly sunny skies. Get a look at this. No rain in the forecast for the entire 7 day, but there will be a little bit of cloud cover on Sunday and Monday associated with the remnants of Hurricane Ian. All right.